<laughs> we are on live words, son. Huh? So what are we talking about today, Mr. Podcast Man? I'm not sure what we're gonna talk about today. I don't know. We we live we live on we live on your side? Uh what you mean as far as like video or just audible audio? Well, I'm I'm just I'm just audio, but I thought we probably might be live on your side though. Uh, I don't know. See, I'm still learning a lot of this technology. So, <laughs> as far as like the extra live stuff that y'all be doing, I haven't gotten that far yet. Well, me too. I feel it. I feel it, man. Well, you ready to do this? Are you finally yes, ready sir. to I'm do so this? Ready. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's talk about all this craziness that's going on. You say you want to this talk about. This you said getting wild, man. You say you want to talk about this craziness and all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. uh, let's not let's seen, yeah let's not seen. let's not say the let's not say the word you know because YouTube okay. is is uh taking really? everything down. Yeah, yeah. You YouTube is oh. taking everything down when when somebody say that word. So let's uh let's jump oh, into wow. it, man. Let's jump into it. Yo, what's going on everybody? Locked out man in the building back again with another interview. Now this interview right here is kind of special. You want to know why? <laughs> you want to know why it's special? It took me a long minute to get well, let me, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. It it I've been following this female from the beginning. Like from the beginning. From the beginning when she was all the way back over at Prime. You feel me? Yeah, I said it. I said it. Prime. I, I'll say it again. Prime. I appreciate it. You know, I've been I've been with you since them Prime days. When you left, really? when you left Prime, you went over to USA. I've been with you when you was at USA. You feel me? I didn't know that. You feel oh, me? Wow. Everybody, yo, I this, yo, I'm that. about to, I'm about to let you guys know. Y'all, y'all hearing the, you, you, you hear in the background, but I'm about to play the video. <laughs> I'm, I'm about, yeah. about to play the video. Today is simply, we mm -hmm. are going to have to come together, guys. Mm -hmm. We have to come together for a common cause, mm -hmm. which is to calm each other down. Mm -hmm. to, like that's said, right. That, that's right. Y'all see who I'm about to talk There's to? There's so many people that's going through. Mm -hmm. I remember the other day, mm -hmm. I was delivering to a store. Hold on. Let me shut up because she's about to say to something. Store, Hold on. The most thing people mm -hmm. is approach me for it. Hey, you know when that tissue coming off the truck? Y'all got any lights all coming in today? Have you seen hand sanitizer? We haven't seen hand sanitizer in a while. I haven't seen it in a while either. One store had just got one case of hand sanitizer. And uh, that is what's up. That's who I'm about to speak uh -huh. to right now. I'm about to bring on the line. The line. The fastest growing YouTuber. She was down at zero and she grew like literally I'm overnight. Surprised. She grew oh like literally overnight. You Yo, everybody, put your you hands together for keeping it 100. <laughs> keeping it 100. Yes, sir. Keeping it 100. She started out as keeping it. She started out as keeping it 100 trucking, but she went back and, you know, she changed up a little yeah. bit. Now she's keeping it 100 experiences, keeping it 100, Miss Dar. What is it? What is it? Pinky? I know it's Pinky. Yeah, Pinky. pinky yes, Daddy. sir. That's Miss my real government official. That's yes, sir. Miss Pinky. I thought things was funny. When he picked that name, I don't know what he was thinking. He must have been drunk, but it happened. Yeah, that's what's up, Miss <laughs> Pinky. Keeping it one hundred. But 100. yeah, man, I'm I'm glad that I'm glad that she finally caught me because I be working a lot and dealing with family and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So a lot of people try to reach out, and it's not that I don't want to talk. I just be damn tired. I be really tired. Well, I I see you. Uh, I I, I see your uh your 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 travels i've seen your your journey so let's uh let's go all the way back let everybody know okay. who you let everybody know who you are and what you do and where you come from well obviously i'm pinky um you know i'm a single mother with five kids i came from baltimore maryland 
you know, just a young lady with a dream that's used to not having much. So that's why I strive as hard as I do, because I know what it's like to not have nothing. And it's like, I'm kind of the first person out of my siblings that's really making this thing go down the way it is. And mm -hmm. let me see, you said where I come from, what I do. Mm -hmm. So I do trucking as of now. I've been doing trucking for the last three years and some change. I started out as a lease operator, but now I'm currently back to a company driver because I had a wreck. And then obviously doing, you know, the lease operator thing, you got to have a lot of time out there away from your family. And like I said, I'm a single mother. So I love my kids. You know, I'm not going to sit here and abandon my kids over mm -hmm. no money. So I just had, had to lay that down for now until, you know, I get more time to get back out until they get older. So that's pretty much in a nutshell. Now you said uh, you said lease uh, lease operator that you uh, that you started out with, but uh, you 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 how you uh, you started out with Prime, right? What, what was your whole? I did. What was your whole experience with uh, with Prime? Because I believe you went and got your license through them as well. Well, actually, I tried the MTC first. I tried for MCC first. I was there with them for almost a week. But these these motherfuckers, excuse my language. No, nah, you good. You good. <laughs> so, all right, I can be myself. Yes, be myself. yes, you can be yourself. I'm not going right, to change. Well, these you. motherfuckers, like, these <laughs> mother beats, these, it, I can't, I can't, like, like, in your face say that it's actually racist. But the way they was doing things, it appeared racist because it's like, I would ask questions, well, if once I get with a company that you're going to send me, what, what mm. is the hometown looking like? like mm. And it's like they was only sending a lot of people that was a you know, white descendant out, you know, to get to their trainers or to get to a company. But then, you know, people of my color, we sit here like, hey, are we going to get test drives? Are we going to go out to try to get our CDO? Like, they was being real shy. And it's like when you got to the school, like, Prime fed you, man. They fed you to full satisfaction. But MTC, oh, these people gave you three cheeseburgers a day from uh, McDonald's. They thought that wow. you were supposed to be content with that. And then they had, like, two people to a room. And the first person that got there would get the full bid. And the second person that got there would get a fucking cot. Okay. Like, you, got, you got to be bullshitting me. So, so this, I, man, so this I, is what I M, this, this is what MTC. I think this, if 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 I'm not mistaken, MTC is is US Express's school, ain't it? Yeah, they were going to send me with them. Like before the lady had put me out, she they they was going to send me with them, but I she made me like she told me to leave. But when I was asking her about home time, I said, "Well, I got kids. I need to know the information. You can't just put me on hold." Like, well, you should have known better before you came to this school. Right, you should have. Right. I said, "Should have said nothing." Well, you know what? You get your things and you leave. I said, "That ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. I got a rental car. Wow. Ask me, speak. I'm fucking out of here. You ain't got to say wow. Nothing. They you ain't they say nothing. so she got so she so she got so she got she got sideways with you, huh? She did all because of hometown. Like, I mean, why I can't know about hometown? Like, I can't ask about hometown. Well, you, you know, some companies, you know, some companies, like some some of the majors, they they don't they they say in like their promo packet and all like that. They say that yeah, home time is important and yada yada yada. But then when you get on and you find out the truth that you you might not get home for like for like two, three, five, six, seven weeks, you know. Prime the same way though, but but prime makes it they give you a choice. Like you got more choices with prime, but they can be the same way as far as hometown. That's one reason why I left prime. Okay, okay. That's one reason why I did leave. So it was just too much out so, there. So MTC was out of the pocket, so you decided to go over to Prime and that's where you actually got your license from? Yeah, shit. And then after I got put out, MCC was actually still trying to charge me eight over eight thousand dollars. But I had legal shield and I got legal shield on it. Mm -hmm. And legal shield was sending them letters and calls talking about, hey, you know, she didn't complete y'all program. Right. So y'all trying to charge her for something that y'all didn't even you know go through with. So right. Legal shield got that done for me. So if you get put out of school and it's not your fault and they trying to charge you, you ain't gotta pay that. You do not have to pay that. Wait a minute. I but, I thought yeah, when I I I thought that would be, you know, uh, a contingency on completing the course and getting your license. They they try to hit you up. That's for, what I'm trying to say. They they trying to hit you up for they, for what you come in there for like a couple grand. of days. I was there for a week. I was there for almost a week. 
You was there but for a week, and then they, they trying to hit you up for eight grand for a week? Are you serious? Yeah, and look here. And look here. I wasn't the only one that they they put out like that. Because one dude, they put out this motherfucker got stranded. Like, he couldn't, he, he couldn't even find his way home. So I wasn't, I wasn't stupid with mine. I went with a rental car and money in my pocket. So, okay, you want to put me out? I will drive this rental car all the way home. Thank you. Yeah, that's you know what I I think that would probably be if 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 you can uh, if you guys can afford it I I think that will probably be the best option that you guys could probably do is to rent a car and then make sure that everything goes good and then you could take the car back and then I'm sure they'll put you in a uh put you in a truck of your choice but. If you get out there by Greyhound or by plane or whatever or on their dime, then yeah, if whatever for whatever reason you you won't be able to make it through, like if you flump the flump the drug test or whatever, then you you pretty much stuck because some of them won't send you back. They they won't give you a way back. You have to find your way back. The fact so. that they put you out. Hmm. And no, and um, like I, I actually did catch the like they, they got me there by Greyhound, but when I got there, like uh, after I got out of class that day, I caught um a ride to the rental place, like I reserved mm-hmm. once I got there, cause, mm-hmm. cause a lot of people like you can drive to that, they put you in a hotel some miles from where you gotta go to the school at, mm-hmm. and a lot of people had to wait on the shuttle, but I'm, I'm independent, right? I'm kind of an independent person. So I say, you know what? Before I wait on some stupid shuttle, I'd rather drive myself. So that's why I had initially got the um, rental. Oh, okay. I was okay. turning back in once I had got on a train and truck. So over uh over in Spring uh Spring City Springfield Missouri, you got over to Prime. You got your you you. We we don't even have to go through the whole a whole process, but you got your you got your license and you started out with Prime. Let me ask you this: Did Prime give you the book of youtube that's what i need to know i, I need to know that did, did they prime, get, did prime what did prime give you the book of youtube what you mean like it's like it's like, every, my, it's like it's like everybody that goes over at prime has a youtube channel i mean everybody <laughs> everybody at, at what, prime like my initial inspiration for starting videos because i was a huge fan of LaShawn. Parks and LaShawn Parks was the reason one yeah, one of the main reasons why I went to Prime. So really, like I like said, if 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 he could do it, yeah, I could try. Yeah, I mean I like I like I like taking multiple pictures. Like I always been into phones and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I, I just want to play around with it. I mean I, I wasn't expecting to get the numbers that I got, but I was just want to use it just for something to do. Man. But I said shit, if he can do it, I can do it, so let me try. Man, you know when you when you know when you started your YouTube channel and you started uh you started you know you know um just chronicling your your experience. I mean, one day you was like at ground zero, and then about a couple of days later you was up at ten thousand. A couple of days later you was at no 15, that you know 000. you want to know where that came from where that came well, from usually usually. People that have a channel, it's always going to be this one video that gets you going. And my one video was the sexual frustration video. And it's like once that took off and the numbers started taking, it's always one video that gets you going. That was my video that got things pushing forward. Okay, okay. And and to be honest, I wasn't going to do it because, like, I'm so used to people not allowing women to talk about those things. Mm -hmm. I said, man, should I do it? Because, I mean, I don't want the disrespect. But I said, man, I really feel compelled to talk about it, so bump it. I'm just gonna have to take the backlash if I do get in. Well, you you know you came with some you you came with some good topics. You also came with some controversial topics, you know, which made your channel you know what it is today, you know. Plus the plus the fact that you was like you was like the uploader back then. I mean, you you was like. <laughs> I mean, it was like my 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 uh my notification feed was like ding, keeping it one hundred, got a new video, ding, keeping it one hundred, got a new video, ding. I'm over here like, God damn it, man, what's going on? But uh, yo, hey man, a lot of people unsubscribe. I lost subscribers because of that. Mm-hmm. I just couldn't help it. That me uploading that much helped. Me. It helped me out there. Like, yeah, it really, it really did. It really like, did. That was my it, yeah. Therapy. 
Yeah, it really did. It helped uh it helped you out personally and it did help your channel out. Now, of course you lost some. Of course you're going to lose some uh, along the way. That's that's what it is, you know. You start you you start up a channel doing one thing one way and then you in the midst of everything, you flip it over, you flip the script and the people that came in for that particular uh information you're not you're not giving it no more so of course they're going to fall off you only know that your regulars that your day ones is going to be there regardless of whatever you're talking about or whatever you're doing those the ones that you, you know would weird, cater though? to you would think like it's the numbers is so freaking weird man because mm -hmm. it's like you would think like let's just i'm not even going to use my numbers let's just say somebody got a hundred thousand subscribers Mm -hmm. You would think every time they upload a video, they would get 100,000 views, but it don't roll like that. Like you said, you got some people that might be subscribed and maybe they haven't watched YouTube or they might be subscribed. They might even be dead. Or There's so many reasons people subscribe and not watching. Mm -hmm. But like you said, your main loyal and regulars, out of 100,000, they might have a loyal 5,000. So out of my 30,000 or 36,000, I really only got a good... 500 to 600 people that I know I'm going to get views. Like, I know if I drop a video, I'm going to get 500 to 600 views each. I'm gonna at get at least, because that's how, that's how, that, that, that's how the numbers are. You know, I, you know, yeah. you got like 6,000, like 6,000 subscribers or 30,000 subscribers, but only a hundred or 300 or 500 people watch. And you look at that mm -hmm. shit and you look at that shit like, the fuck like yo i, yeah, I got it's weird. It's are, really, is, is, is youtube no is is out. right is youtube sending out my notification to these people you know what i'm saying is it, and then i just came to realize like okay some of these people just click on just for that one video and then just keep it moving that's it no it's drama it's drama like i i refuse to be a person full of drama or wanting to fight and start this and that. If I gotta do that for numbers, and I put that on YouTube. Like if I can't motivate you, or you want me because of the positive vibe I'm getting, that I don't care that you don't watch. And I'm not gonna sit here and try to be in fight or do this and that just for some damn views. I'm not gonna do that. Oh yeah, I'm drama. Not, I'm not gonna do it. Oh yeah, drama always. Yeah, drama. Drama always. Sell. Drama always. Uh, always sell. You know, you gotta. It's like you gotta be in a predicament, and everybody and their mama watch the video. Speaking of speaking of predicaments, man, let's rewind it back, man. We 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 back. We we still at prime, man. What was what was your <laughs> what was your experience throughout the whole uh throughout the whole uh getting your license process through through prime? You know what? I still I still get prime uh five thumbs up. Like I said, I'm kind of a greedy sucker, man. Like, they feed you good. Mm -hmm. Motherfucking hotels on fleet. Mm -hmm. the, uh, well, the structures I had as far as, like, before you got into a real training truck, day mm -hmm. patient, because I did the night program, so I wasn't out there for the first uh, week. Mm -hmm. But I did have some issues, though, when I got on the training truck, because I had one butch female, and her attitude was out the yin yang. Me and her stayed verbally into it where it almost got physical. Mm. But my first trainer, she was a church born lady and she was real cool, but she had got cancer to uh, where she had to give me up. So I went to two trainers almost three months before I got on my own. Wow. So you said you was with a. You but was with prime a itself, though, like shit, the terminal's good. The only thing I can say is I'm dispatching because you got a lot of sorry fuckers that they power hungry and they try to make you realize that they feed you so you better do what i say or else that's what I don't like. see that's what i don't yeah, like either they, I, I don't like you know i i like i like a fleet manager that we can that we can vibe with each other you know what i'm saying if we can get that vibe going you know what i can do for you and you know and i know what you can do for me type vibe and i you know not like oh, okay well i got this load right here you you better do it you 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 better do it bruh I control this man, truck. Man, ain't bad. Yeah, I turn right. something down quick. I what? I bet what up oh, shit, man. Nigga, take that shit somewhere else. I ain't going shit. I turn this truck in the day if you want. You want this truck? You can have it. <laughs> That's All my right. attitude. That's my attitude. So you got so you you went through training with the with 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 the butch bitch female. Yeah, fault. that was the second one. And, and then my the bad. first one was the church one. I loved her. Like she was she took me to our house and everything when she used to go to she had a nice house too. Like she was a sweetheart. Okay. Was. So 
the, the, he was a sweetheart. So the, 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 how long how long did the how long did the did the uh, tr- uh how long was it before you got off the 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 butch females truck? She was trying to keep me longer. Like she was trying to make some lame excuse. Oh well, you got to learn how to read a map. If you don't learn how to read a map, then I'm not going to sign you. I said that's not oh, no but, goddamn requirement what? to learn how to read no map. Right. The only thing I need to prove is that I can do my maneuvers right. I uh-huh. can drive safe. Uh-huh. And I know how to do my job. Because people don't even damn use maps no more. So what the fuck you talking about? I be used to stay into it. Oh wow. Man. So that is so uh, yeah. That, that. I wanted to, oh, I wanted to fight. So I wanted he, to fight so damn bad. I swear. So you so you had to hurry. You had to hurry up and get up off that truck, man. Hell like, yeah! Yo, I gotta go. I'm about to quit. <laughs> There's a couple times when I went home, like I was married at the time. I said, "Hey, man, I don't think I'm a, I can do this. I can't deal with this shit. I'm okay. I'm gonna go to jail. I'm gonna go to jail." I'm, <laughs> And he used to like, hey, don't, don't, don't let her destroy what you're trying to do. Just keep pushing forward. Just keep said, pushing forward, right, rough. right. Don't, this don't let, rough. don't let nobody stop you. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's gonna yeah. be, it's, it's gonna always be like that. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna go through, you're gonna go through at least one or two trainers before you get to that right trainer, and that trainer would train you right. So at that time, yeah. before prime, and, cha- and then look here, it didn't help. It didn't help because she had the dis like the same this this fashion she had, I ended up having him after I got off the truck. But this bitch is like it's like they were clicking, like they were like she they were like that. So it's like whatever she did, he was kinda of back on it. So I had to go above the dispatch to head every time me and her got into it because he would be on her side when shit go down. I'm like, That's crazy. Uh-uh. That's crazy. Uh uh-uh. uh. You 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 don't need no you don't need no dispatchers like that. Is she is is she sti- is, is she still there with the company you know? I don't even know. I don't even care. Once I got off her truck, I never look back. I, I hear you. Back. All I right. Call so, her enough now. So I you act like you don't exist. So you trifected it. You trifected it. You got your license yeah, and uh you drove for Prime. Yeah. How how long did you drive for Prime? <laughs> as soon as I got a little bit past my year, I was out of there. I was <laughs> saying, I just want to complete this contract. As mm-hmm. soon as I complete this contract, pew, fucking out of here. I need freedom. Y'all so, bitches treat us like kids. We like ba- we being babysitters. <laughs> like they said, a glorified, a glorified company, bro. For real, for real. Okay, okay. Glorified. Yeah. So in so at so during your time at Prime. Who who all did you meet as far as YouTubers go? Because at that time, I, people people don't fuck with me like that. I don't know why. Like if you really look at my YouTube career, most people that I have gotten to laugh with, they were on the smallest spectrum of numbers. Like most bigger, only matter of fact, and this was recent. The only person I got a partial collab with that got good numbers is um. What is it, Miss Truck? truck yeah, Miss Yeah, Trucker truck Diva. Diva. I I seen uh I seen that uh I seen that live yeah. feed. See the the thing like I I I like the 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 feed. I like the video and video, but unfortunately, if you're doing it from the phone, it's using your it's using your yeah. phone data, and sometimes the feed don't be all right. So that's why I never did. Uh, video to video feed and all like that in my interviews so but i i enjoy i actually enjoyed that you know what i'm saying i actually enjoyed that but i did i i did reach out to actually i met i met uh miss diva trucker back in the day um i'm not even sure if i still got you know what though got that picture i think me collabing with other people is, is a lot my fault too Cause mm-hmm. when I get into working, like I got a lot going on, like I'm busy, so it's hard for me to put stuff down to have like other things going on. So right. a person would really have to make time to catch me and put people. I don't think because they probably be busy too. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's kind of tough because our schedules never match up or where we located never matches up. Because Sean, he wanted to do one, and what is it, Honduras? Um, uh, the, Junior, the Hispanic Latino guy. Yeah, Junior. Yeah. He, he he still want to do one with me. Even um Pink Baby Dog, she been trying to get me to collab with her for a minute. And I think obviously obviously dangerous. She was trying to she's trying to get up with me, but like we can't never get close enough to do the collab. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's... yeah, and um, Honey Badger, Honey Badger one on one. We we real cool. Like she she definitely trying to collab, but we can't never get close enough. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, I you know, like I said, I I I met uh uh Diva Trucker uh way like maybe about a two maybe about two years ago, and uh, I met okay. her I met her at the pilot. Um, but the the thing is now I've seen another interview that she did with with the lawyer lady, and I. Okay. And I reached out to her to get, you know, to get the lawyer lady's information because what what she was talking about was was on point. And I felt that, you know, I, you know, I could talk, you know, I could get some uh, I could get some information out of that. But I kind of felt jaded by her because when I when oh, I no. when I went and asked her for the information, she kept giving me like like 50 million excuses and not to give me, I mean, to give, uh, to give me the information that I needed but to get a hold what, though, of the, uh, the young lady. That's kind of, that's kind of hard because the only thing I can say she probably would give you is the email, but that's kind of, that's kind of not to say infringement, but you can't just give out people numbers without asking them first. So the only thing I can see is, well, maybe she could say, well, I can call her and see, if she's up for right, that, right? Then that's I, I would have took. I, I would have took that. I would have took that. Um, hold on, right quick. I would have. Hold on. I, I would have took that. That I'm cool with that. I would have took that. You know, if you would have told me, you know, say, hey, let me get a hold of her. You know, let me get a hold of her. I even say, yo, you can you can give her my information, and you know, she could call me on her uh on her on her thing now. I back up in March 4th, I tried to, I tried, you know, I sent out uh, a text via her Instagram. I didn't get no response or nothing like that. Hey man, then, let me explain that Instagram. Mm -hmm. Let me explain all this, all the messages. I don't know how oh, many numbers that oh, lady got. Hold on, hold on right quick. You? Hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Be right back. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. We back. We back. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to take a take a little ten minute. My uh, phone was about to go dead on me. All right. So go ahead. Oh, you was no. about to say something about Instagram. Yeah. With, if you if you got good, you know, big numbers. Hey, man. Them messages. If if you're just one person trying to respond to it, it's literally in damn pop. It's not that I don't know about her, but for me, I want to respond to everybody but it's impossible mm -hmm. and then it's like when you read so many messages you get burnt out it's, it's for so much one person can read before they say Dang, i can't read no more right <laughs> and i don't have no more words like i ran out of words to say i ain't got no more words I'm a well, driver. well hey. you know i you know like i said i reached i reached out through i reached out to her through instagram i reached out through her to you know her facebook and then i realized that i had you know that i had her phone number I had her phone number and I reached out to her, you know, via her phone number. I, I thought by, you know, because like I said, I met her personally and, you know, I, yeah, yeah. I met her personally, you know, shook hands, took a picture and everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why, I, you know, that's, you know, when I, when I reached out to her, I was like, yo, this is lockout men, yada, yada, yada. Um, 
you know, hey, can you, you know, give me, you know, help me out in reaching the young lady that you was talking to in the interview. And that's what I proceed to, you know, like, OK, well, since we know each other, I would get the uh, I would get the chance to, you know, get the information or the information would be, pre- I mean, pushed on to uh, pushed on to her. But like I said, I, you know, throughout the conversation, you know, she did came back to me. She was like, you know, let me check with uh, Dana first, you know, before I give out yeah. her information and all like that. And I was cool. Yeah. I was cool like that. But then I never heard nothing back from her as far as uh, as far as anything. But on the flip side, you know what? I, I was able to. You know what I realized? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and I, I'm not saying this in a bad way, but. It, it seems like, and I'm not, I, I could be totally wrong with her. I'm not going to say this how she probably was thinking, but some YouTubers, like, they'll be cool with you on, like, the, like, cool side, but when it comes to the YouTube thing and it's, you know, yeah. it's a competition, yes. they're not going to try to give you something that could give them a step above them because yes. they're trying to keep the, the lead. That's what I realized. Because there's a lot of times, it's like, uh, what, I forgot, there's a couple people I used to talk to, and I don't talk to them no more, but I needed help with my editing. And mm-hmm. motherfuckers wouldn't even help me to put editing. Like, then, no, you could, you could just figure it out yourself. Just look it up and do this. Damn, but your editing is going good. You can't help me with my editing? No, you just look it up. Damn, okay, okay, fuck you too. All right, right. right. Got I, I got a lot of, you know, I got a lot of people that ask me about my editing too, but I don't have a problem with, uh, I don't have a problem. Like, yo, I use Adobe Premiere. You know what I'm saying? For all my, for all my okay. editing. I got the, I got the Adobe suite. I pay fifty dollars a month for it. Yeah, I gotta get that. <laughs> yeah, I pay $50 a month for it. So yeah, I don't have a problem telling people about that. But yeah, this the uh this the picture right here. Um Miss Diva Trucker and myself. We uh met up at the uh at the Flying J. So so yeah, but like I said, I just kind of felt kind of kind of jaded about that she wouldn't help me get in contact with uh with the uh young lady, but that's the year. But make sure just make sure you write about how you feel mm-hmm. sometimes we could feel and assume like people is this and that but it could be a real read like people when i can't answer my phone people think i'm being funny acting maybe because i can't answer my phone but it ain't that i'm just fucking tired like I'm right tired. i mean you know i tell I mean? like i said my sure email real read. my my email my email my dm uh my email my dm my test messages is all full and yes, I try to get back and, you know, try to get back and, and respond to everybody, but you can't respond to everybody. And even, no, and you even, can't. and even if you can't respond to everybody, they still get mad at you. Like, yo, I, yeah, that's what I'm, trying I'm to say. over that's here. Like, you come you on now. Dated. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So make sure you, you, the way you feel is really facts. Like don't, don't let that get in the middle of maybe y'all still continuing to be uh mm. youtube friends or whatever right that's all i'm saying no i don't have a, no i don't have a problem with her i mean she cool you know what i'm saying like, i mean not all of her content i'm you know i'm i'm too crazy about but you know it is what it is you know when she has some interviews on there she has some some uh good interviews on there she had my girl queen trucking on there at one time and yeah, uh, I love queen right she's she a had, sweetheart right she, man you talking about blowing up overnight oh yeah that girl queen she, she oh, yeah. blew up literally over fucking night oh literally. yeah oh yeah oh yeah that that situation over at prime. prime yeah that situation over yeah. at prime and plus she did the she did the interview with me and she did a couple of you know she did a couple of uh podcasts with me yeah it it, it was crazy it was crazy so yeah, much you know, much love to you Queen Trucking. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, much so love queen, to Queen Trucking. All right, so you, so, so you, um, one year at Prime, you was like, cool, I'm about yeah, to bounce out, thing. and uh, you, right. you head over to, uh, you, you head over to USA Truck. What was, what was your yeah, experience over there? I- and a uh, guy friend, he, he showed me numbers like, hey, man, you got more freedom here, you're making mm-hmm. more money. And then, you know, we can team and do things together. And I said, see, that sounds like a good pitch. I'm over there. I don't want you. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. You get a brand new truck. I said, for real? A brand new truck? Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. Oh, okay. You do- yeah, but US, oh. USA definitely made more money, though, than from a week. Like, I brought home more take home with them and more freedom. 
Now with US USA, your your time your time with USA was uh was short lived um because of not uh, really. I did I did the same time a year uh about a year almost two years ago. Oh, okay, about almost a year. Two, almost made it to two before all that stuff went down. Now the but the truck the the truck was a you you was a lease driver for USA Truck over there because you know you had you you did a couple of videos of you getting your what was that LLC you had your nice little uh magnet that you put up on your truck I think somebody took it though yeah they took my shit man they were just fucking weak they see I had my LLC because you know when you sign up with Prime you have to get your LLC to get the lease right you gotta set up your business. Uh, bank accounts. You gotta have your LLC, your EIN number at uh-huh. Prime. Like you uh-huh. do all that stuff at Prime. So I had my stuff from day one. Oh, okay, so you just pretty much took it over to uh took it over to USA, and uh, pretty much, yeah. All right, so and I had a lease purchase. It wasn't just a lease. Like this was a lease purchase, so I was more obligated, commitment wise, to it. Okay. So how how other than uh, other than uh, we'll we'll touch on that in a minute, but how was the overall experience there? Was you was were you making more money? Were, were you getting the lows? Were you being uh, you know was they treating you like the truck driver you were supposed to be? Now as far as treatment, like the people there, they cool. Like everybody, shit, they they used to help. They didn't give two cents about if anything. They used to push me to do videos for them, so they was very understanding what me recording. And then the freedom as far as being able to pick your own load, so you pick what you want and not what you don't. The only thing that I had a major concern with was the freight was cheap. So some weeks were good, but that's just trucking in general, though. Sometimes weeks were good, and sometimes weeks were bad. And then some days, you know, you couldn't find stuff, so you had to go to your dispatcher, and he would have, I don't know, he must have got a separate load board that he can go to to get you something in case you just really couldn't find nothing. My mm-hmm. dispatcher had to do that for me a lot. Oh, okay, that's what's up. And that's... then as far as, like, the lease requirements to take the truck away, like, if you just want to take the truck away to another company, that stuff was extreme. Like, you had to have $13,000 down, you had to have 630 in credit score, and you had to have um, one month of truck payment sitting in your bank account for like a month before. Like that's the three requirements. I this, had the thirteen grand. I had the credit, but I didn't have the stuff sitting in my bank account because I was going to use all my money to put down on the truck. So okay. that's what messed me up. So this was uh, so this was over at uh, USA, right? Yeah, because I was trying. My whole deal was trying to get get the land salt or Mercer. Like that was my goal. Okay, that okay. Was my goal. So driving down. Drive driving down the highway on a snowy road. Take us back to that to that fateful day. Shoot, man. Just like any other week, I was trying to bang my week out with, you know, a good, you know, amount of revenue. So, you know, I I looked at the weather, I know that the weather was bad, but I said, Well, let me check out the roads to see because sometimes the weather can be bad, but if the road is clear, you can get away with, you know, making it. So I seen that the roads were clear. I said, see, I got this. I can, I can get out there and make my delivery. So everything was going good. And, I, you know, I actually got down the road for you know, almost 100 miles before I went into the jackknife. And just somehow, some way, the, the truck started dancing out of my control. So I tried to, you know, gradually pull it back and get it back going again. But it, it just, it was nothing I could do. I just had to ride with it. And luckily, I didn't hurt nobody. I, I didn't hurt myself. I just messed the truck. I didn't even hurt the trail. I just messed the, the truck up, the side fairing part of it, and the body. All right. So I'm. I, I see. I, I see some thumbnails of the truck, but I could have sworn you actually had a video of the of the accident. Yeah. Like. Is um, it is it still up? Because called, is it still up? Because I'm I'm, I'm 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 looking through. Uh, the one that I see with the thumbnail says trucking can bring you to your knees, but the you, you didn't show pictures in there. And then checking on Chiron, taking things out of my truck. I clicked on that and I didn't actually see the truck. Do you have, do you have pictures it's on called, your, oh, okay. It's called Jack Knife Accident. And then I got like a little bar and then when push for, I, let me share it. I'm going to share it to my. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. 
but I'm going to share it to my community section. Okay. I'm going to share yeah, it to the if, community. If Give you, me a second. Yeah, if you share it to your community session, I probably could pull it up. Yeah, I was scared, to be honest. I was scared to post that, too, because obviously something like that, people, you know, people are quick to point fingers, like, you should have did this, mm -hmm. this, 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 mm -hmm. this. So a lot of the videos that I posted, don't think it was easy to post. I just gritted my teeth and posted it anyway. Right. You had to you you had to pretty much figure out whether it's it's, it's a good idea to post it or not. So but would you But you know what? But would you being the way you are I, yeah, being the way you are, you know, <laughs> your experiences, this this is what you do. You 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 brought it out. Hold on, I'm about to go to your community tab. Is it is it in there now? I'm trying to I'm oh. trying to yeah, I'm trying to see if it'll let me post it, but it's acting real funny. <laughs> let me hold up. Let me go back to it. Let me see. Let me yeah, because some videos they won't let you post it. Let, let me see if I can find it why. again. So it's far. Um. Uh, That's weird. That's really weird. I don't know what's going on with this video. All right. So what's the name of it again? I'm trying to. It's called Jack Knife Accident. Jack Knife Accident got a bar when. Jack push 4,000 pounds into a skid. Okay, so Jack... Hey, let me hashtag it. Because you can find stuff on hashtag. Jackknife. Some hashtag mean a lot when you're trying to get your videos to get, um like, advertised. Okay, hold on. Jackknife. That's weird. I don't know why it's not trying to tear out. That is really weird. Jackknife. Road trip. All I see, road trip... Uh, here it is, Jackknife Accident. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on, here we go. I'm fast-forwarding it now. All right, here we so, go. You actually, okay, so this is, you actually, so this is from your dash cam. Yeah, like, cause I had, Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, um, in order oh. to do a video for it, so that camera caught everything. All right, hold on, right quick. All right, I just found it. All right, so here it is. All right, this this is uh, you you must have hit some black ice. Yeah. Right there. Oh. Yeah, you you hit some. Oh, that, and it was a good thing that you that you was the only well, one that's on I the. I had um, my first accident. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Oh, you I wasn't. Had just passed a truck. Yeah, I had just passed a truck in a car. Like, it, like maybe like less than a minute after I passed them is when it, it happened. Uh, it was a good thing that you that you was able to. It was a good thing that you was able wind. to get that off in the this ditch, man, people. because I've seen a guy in front of me. It, it probably like would have swerved, but it wasn't him swerving. It was I, the you know what? I, I always say, so I, and I'm a firm man, believer I of it. Over, but I rolled. I, I'm a firm believer of it, you know, and I, I know a lot of people be be saying that just to be saying it. But, man, Jesus took the wheel on that. He did. He Jesus took to. the, Jesus had, took the wheel. You know what? For like, for like, I say a good three to four seconds, I blacked out. Like, I really, I, I like, am I, is this really happening? Like, I really had to come to and really go into what I learned to, to get that truck back. I mean, I didn't get it fully back, but I got it back enough to where it didn't flip and I didn't go to the right side off instead of into the median. Right. So, so God is good. That God, yeah, God, God yeah, yeah God believe, cool believe me, I, I know for a fact that God is good. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. pray I, I pray to my I, I pray to my God every day. That's why I keep telling people God whoever is. whoever you who whoever you pray to, whether it's God, Allah, Jehovah, whoever, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure you 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 give that little bit of time to him. He might not be here for you when you when you he, he may not be not he may not be here when you want him. But he definitely be here when you need He's him. He's right on time. He's right on time. But I, you know what? One one way I know that had to be God, because it wasn't even just that situation. Like, everything happened the same time. So it's mm -hmm. like, 
sometimes God got to get your attention and he do what he got to do to put you in the right place at the right time. I, so I, I think, think that was just his way of saying you don't need to be out there. You need to come with your kids. Exactly. And I think it, and it works across for everybody. Believe me. Yeah. Believe me, I know. I I know. So I know God got something else for me. So he, he got something else for me. He probably seen something. He probably seen something that shook me up or seen that I wasn't doing something right or, you know, or taking or taking stuff for granted. Boom. I even um I even made a video on uh on that. I mean on you. On your situation, let me bring that. Yo, up. LOL community, what's good? That. What's I good? What's it. going on? You know Lock out up. men. I'm here at the terminal. Here it is. Yes, this is just a you quick know, video, right quick. Y'all see the? Y'all see this? I, I, run, I run my name. It's cold. Sometimes people. It's damn cold. Stuff, it's freezing no, cold. Let me your take. Video comes up under the hashtag. Yeah, he got something. Hold on, right quick. Let me tell you, New Jack, something. Let me tell you, rookie, something. Right quick. I remember that. First thing first. Trucker safe haven. It's That's a group of truckers that mm -hmm. watches out for one another. You know what I'm saying? We're all about your safety. With that out of the way, I want to say these weather conditions is bad. It's real bad. I read some of the comments. I looked at the video. I can't judge her. You see what I'm saying? I can't judge her. What I can say is this. I am glad that she's all right and wasn't worse than what it was because it could have been. It could have been. That wind and, you, and you're empty, it, it could push you. It, it could push you all over the place. Exactly. Truck. Exactly. In a way that she was so. good. So yeah, so yeah, I I um uh, I uh spoke on I spoke on your situation. At that time it was uh you know, we I was involved with a group of truckers that was trying yeah. that was trying air quotes that was trying to put together uh a trucker safe haven for all us truckers because the one it came together, it came about uh, when that one young lady got killed up in uh, Louisiana, yeah. I oh, believe. That so yeah, that was. Yeah. And we all tried. Yeah, we all tried to. We we all tried to come together and put something together. Unfortunately, it never materialized into nothing. So, oh, no. but um, yeah. but yeah, Pinky. I like I said, I I I seen it. I was damn glad you was all right. So yeah, Thank so you, what what happened? What what happened after that? I'm sure they hit you with a, of course they hit you with a preventable. So what? No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. No. Oh, okay, okay. No, nothing went on my record. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Okay, okay, like, okay. Like when I go to jobs, that don't even come up unless I say something. Like if I don't say nothing about it, it don't come up. Only time it come up is my if my big mouth say something. About oh, okay, it. okay. All right, well that's what's up. That's that's I another that's that's another no that's that's another blessing. That's another blessing for you right yeah. there. So I didn't get no fine and nothing. So when so so when they came, you you was responsible for the for the toll, I take it. What, I didn't even pay for that, come to find out. Oh, USA, okay. USA took that bill, but that, that damn towing company, they some crooks, man. Oh yeah. They charged three thousand dollars and oh. didn't even really tow me. They just pulled me out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We 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 some dirty ass bastards. I, I'm from that. I'm 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 from that industry. I I know. I know. I know. That's why I said when I. That's why I said I'm trying to. I'm trying to save up all my cheese. Unfortunately, I can't. But I was. I'm going to try and save up all my cheese and get me a wrecker. You know what I'm saying? Because just to come and get you out of a ditch, three thousand dollars in my pocket. Hell yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to nobody. That's so damn mean. Cause some Ooh. people don't got it, man. Yeah, I got you. I got you. It's like people always think truck drivers got money, but some people really don't. They really no, nah, we no, nah, we don't. We don't. We pay. We paycheck to paycheck out here, man. 
We are paycheck some to people, paycheck. Now, some people doing good now. Some people got bank. But most of us, you know, especially if you got a lot of overhead mm. and home stuff and this and child support or bill, like whatever you got going on in your life that's killing your pockets, it's, just, it's, it's hard for some of us. So, I mean, o- like that. O- okay, Pinky. So, if USA, you know, pretty much was on your side and everything, why, why leave them? What, what happened? What, what I said, happened? I said, like, when my son, when his appendix burst, he needed me home. So, I couldn't, oh. like, I physically just, I had to be home. And then my, um, my, my ex husband was watching my kids. And not right. only was I going through my son's appendix burst and then the accident, me and him wasn't getting along. Right. So he didn't want to watch my kids no more. So I, it was just so much stuff to where I just, time-wise, I couldn't be out no more. It ain't oh, that okay. I didn't want to. I just couldn't. I had to give it up. I just had to. All right. So you did. I tried. I tried to see if they had any local runs or mm-hmm. anything that had home, but they just, they are over the road company. So so they, they, they couldn't pretty much look out for you in that sense anyway. So, no. so I no. seen, I, I seen some little knickknacks here and a little, uh, Nick Nats there. You 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 did a stint at Frito Lay. What was your experience there? Because you did a couple of <laughs> you did a couple of heated videos <laughs> with Frito Lay, man. Man, I'm motherfucking boy. They power hungry too. The management did install it, boy. I'm, I ain't gonna call them out their names. The right. Females, man. They power hungry with all. Like I had a homeboy that went to Frito Lay with me. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Man, I'm quit because." It's, first of all, the seniority there, they it's like if you don't have no seniority, you ain't making no money. So mm-hmm. you, you might get a run today, don't get a run tomorrow. Like, isn't they being weirded with that seniority bull crap? And then they try to write you up for every little damn thing. If you fucking call from, oh, you getting rolled up because you call from. Like, really? So <laughs> you, so, Fine. so they, so they, they was, they was 100 on you not making videos. You, you mentioned something about that. In, in one of your videos. I don't know, because, like, I asked before I started, and mm-hmm. the whole, uh like, management in the office, like, the office where I was, they was cool with it because they was watching my stuff. But then a lot of a lot of drivers there were getting kind of, I don't know to say jealous, but they wasn't feeling it. So one person actually got, got he complained on one of my videos mm-hmm. and said he felt offended. So he got the upper management, like, the actual management above like that actually is above freedom lake involved so it got out of the lower management's hand went into upper management to where they said my videos was okay but some of the stuff had too much information in it and they gave me an alternative you can take those videos down and keep your job or we just want to let you go if you don't take them down wow i just didn't take it down so well all right deuces i'm out okay so now here at frito lay it it was a day cab so you were slip, slip you, seating. You 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 were yeah. slip seating. Was yeah, was some of nice the was they some of the nice video truck. was would you would you probably would it be safe to say that probably the one video that you probably did because the truck was so messy or whatever whatever that 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 truck driver got uh got felt some kind of way because you you said something <laughs> about the truck itself. You know what? It stuff was so bad that somebody had ripped my, you know, my um tag deep decoration. I had a decor around my tag on my car. I got back, that shit was ripped off. Mm-hmm. They were stealing stickers, my uh, stickers off my car. They blocked me in with trucks and everything. <laughs> when I would get in one of the trucks, it was messages on a Qualcomm. I forgot what they said, but it was some flirtatious messages, so I was going through it. <laughs> wow. And this is and this is And this is Frito Lay. This is this is yeah, like one of like, the companies like, this is like one of the one of the premier companies like Walmart. You know what I'm saying? One of the companies that you want to work for. And they came and treated you it, like it that. Is. You know what? It, it is. Freedom got great. They got some outstanding benefits, and you can make money if, I guess, you can get past the seniority bullshit, but the management and some of the workers there make it tough. They make it tough, not the job itself. Okay. It's the people. It's the people. Mm. But right. yeah, man. <laughs> so what is... So- I, and, I, and the crazy thing is, if they never would have 
fired me, I wasn't going to leave. I was just going to deal with the shit. I was just going to deal with it. I hear you. I, I hear you. Probably, you probably would have. I ain't want to job hop. Like, people think I'm a job hopper, but I'm not. I try to get stable with things, but sometimes. The way things happen in my life, I have to make the change because it's right. No other you way you had to make some. You had to make some hard decisions. So don't don't work me. You yeah. know what, man? Don't worry about what them motherfuckers say. Forget them. Yeah, they, <laughs> they 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 don't know. They don't know what keeping it one hundred experiences is all about. Shoot, go go back and yeah. go go back into her catalog and and see what this woman <laughs> went through. She went through. She went through the. She went through my what, what her sister. That that one dude that she that she had a stint with, I kind of what you know what I don't want to be nosy, but he was in the video for like two videos and then after that he was gone. Man, hey, you know <laughs> what? I'm gonna let it out. Man, this man, this dude, like our relationship, it was alright. But if we got in an argument for, for some reason, whatever, for some, I, my dumbass actually gave him my credentials to my channel. And if he got fucking upset, this motherfucker will go in my shit and delete videos. Like oh. He would delete shit. He deleted a couple stuff that I can't get back. So that's why I had to really make sure I save my stuff. Because if somebody get a hold of your channel, however they get a hold, and you see these videos, it's a done deal. Like, he took a lot of shit down. Wow. Like, because, oh. like I said, I... I've seen them, you know, y'all looked at happy together and, you know, y'all was, you know, we was. you know, y'all looked at happy together and all like that. And I'm, I'm going, now I'm only assuming. So I, I, at the time I assumed, but since I got, since I got the horse's mouth on the line, was that your significant <laughs> other? We was happy, yeah, we was happy, but he was controlling. This nigga, if I ain't answer my phone, he's flipping out. Like, nigga, I'm working. I'm tired. I can't answer my phone all the goddamn time. Nigga, I don't need to be up under you 24-7. You done lost your damn mind. I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> uh, I'm working, motherfucker. I'm so, working. so he, so, so you say he, 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 let me see how, is it the videos of him that he took down? Because. No, he took some of him uh -huh. and it was one. I think one where I was turning in a prime, the prime lead, he took that shit down that I couldn't bring back. Wow. Yeah, you did. I cut his ass out. I said, oh, you dead touch my damn thing. You lost it, boy. We was beast to argue. Fucking <laughs> argue. Man, Not that's my shit, nigga. You that, lost your mind. Man, that's crazy. And at that time, you were still. So look, like what I had to do was, because he had my credentials, there's a setting in the YouTube thing to mm -hmm. where you can see what devices is connected to your account right and you can click on that device and you can actually wipe that device i'll wipe it the way i'll wipe this whole phone like, oh, okay that's what's device, up you, that's one thing from your youtube pinky pinky i'm glad that you that 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 you learning and that you learned from all of that never give yeah, it, yeah, same man. same thing with the male never give a female power you know what i'm saying and I never know. give and never give another male uh -huh. power Y'all, I mean, if y'all, right. if, if y'all strong, if y'all strong to the point, like how, like me and my, me and my, uh, how can I say my estranged wife, we had a, a middle checking account, which was our, you know, the, the, the house checking account. And then we had our own money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I never went to her and asked her for no money. And she never came to me and asked me for any money unless we needed money together for the bill. So, yeah, but if y'all not now, that's when we, you know, were married. But if you're not married, then no, no, uh-uh. You know Don't why? You know why I did that, though? Like, I be seeing a lot of couple YouTubers, and they be real successful with working together to run the channel. And people think running the channel is easy, but when you got a personal life and all that stuff, it's really hard. Run. Like, I do my best. I do stuff on the slide to keep my channel going. So I figured, I figured at that time, I said, well, shit, he can help me with the comments. You know, he can help mm -hmm. me with trying to come up with big, like, I needed the help. So I thought I could trust him enough for us to be a team to run the channel, but I guess not. Uh, so I was just yeah. trying to team up because yeah, I wanted he, to get team with somebody to run, you know, run the channel or whatever. Yeah, he he felt some he he felt some kind of way. So boo to him, boo yeah, to he you. He was dude. controlling, controlling. Boo to you, dog. I, 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 was I was gonna, you know what? I, you know what? Let me see what I can. Let me see what I can give you. Let me see. Yeah, I'll give you this. Really, nigga? Yeah, I'll I'll give you that, brother, man. Yeah. So yeah. So definitely moved on from that. So 
how did you feel about your first time in a in a in a truck? How did you felt when you first got in that truck? What was your feeling? I was like, wow, look at this big motherfucker right here. I'm about to do this. I said, I'm really about to do this shit. I'm about to do this. I was just thinking about the money. I said, man, I'm about to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy. So, I was like, man, I'm about to make some money. I could be independent. I don't need nobody after this. I'm straight. I'm what, straight. What was your first, what was your first load? What what was the first load and how many miles was it? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what was my first load? I don't know. Yeah, you, now that that's too far back. You, you know, said that you, you said that's that you said that's too far back for you, huh? Yeah, that's too far back. <laughs> I don't know, remember that one. But I I know like because usually with a regular clock and with all being governed down, you can normally go about five to six hundred miles. So I think it couldn't have been far. Cause you know Springfield, Missouri. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember that one. Okay. All right. How how do you feel about how how do how do you feel about being a female in a male dominated industry? Uh it's it's still kind of normal to me because before I got into trucking, I was an auto mechanic. Like every job I ever had, I have always been just about the only woman in it. So it's, it it hasn't changed anything for me. It's just that's kind of the norm. I don't like it, but it's kind of the norm for me. You know what? You you say you from Baltimore. You definitely got that Baltimore accent, man. You got that. You also you got, got that. You you also got that Baltimore swag about you. So being from Baltimore, how was it growing up? How was it growing up in Baltimore? It was kind of rough because I mean, like in Baltimore, there's a lot of helicopters, police, motherfucking drug dealers shooting. Braids, all that stuff. So when I moved to North Carolina and I didn't see that stuff as much no more, I felt weird. I said, is this normal? You're supposed to normally see helicopters, fucking fiends on the street. I'm not used to this, this quietness. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> all right. So you actually get, it's kind of sad to say, but you kind of get used to that dysfunction up there. So, so is it, so, so did the, did the HBO series, the wire, the HBO series, The Wire, was pretty much portrayed it Baltimore to how it was with you growing up there. Yeah, they did. They did a good. They did a good job portraying it. But it's one thing to see that stuff. It's another thing to really see that. That's two different feelings of it. You can see it all day, but until you act pretending, you wouldn't understand. Okay. That's why. That's where a lot of my time comes from because I just been through a lot of stuff. And that's why I can be heartfelt because I've seen a lot of that stuff. Okay. Okay. So I think you was at I think you was at USA, and um, you did uh you did another video. Um, uh, you went. I think this was on your home time. You went back. Your truck was gone. Take us. Take us through that day. You talking about when my truck got towed? Yep. <laughs> I think I was at prom. I wasn't with USA. I was at prom. Uh, man. Oh, okay, okay. Prom. Okay, okay. Well, take take yeah, us. Yeah, well, shit, man. Because it, it was this mall not too far from where me and my sister had a place. And usually you could park there. But, you know, some places, you know, they just change it on the fly and don't, like, warn truckers that you can't park there. Mm -hmm. So I parked there and went back to get my stuff out to go back on the road. And my shit's gone. So when I went to, you know, find out, they say, well, you know, a lot of truck drivers been, uh, you know, messing up with putting trash on the ground and this right. and that. So make we it, decided make it. to, you know, say that y'all can't park here no more. They had a little teeny ass sign there that said no parking for trucks. Wow. So I, I called that number. They said, yes, man, we have your truck and trailer. You need to come get it. I said, well, how much is it? He said nine hundred and something dollars. I said, "Dang!" But that for but dollars. that was that was for both truck and trailer, right? That wasn't just yeah, for truck the truck and trailer. Oh, yep. okay. So how truck much? And so how much total? So how much total you had to come out of the pocket on that? The whole thing. Well, I was with Prime, so they sent me a comp data check, and mm -hmm. what happened was they took it out my next settlement. So I didn't see much of a check. I think I almost went into the. I think I got a hundred and something dollars that next week. Wow. That shit messed me up. Wow. I got, that, no, I got like I think almost about four hundred dollars take home after all that was said and done. But that was week. yeah. But they 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 hit you hard with that one, huh? 
it, it, it's part of the game. It's part. I mean, I ain't the only one going through this stuff. A lot of these, that's part of the game. That's yeah, I got a, I got a boot. <laughs> I had a, I had a boot put on my truck for for five hundred dollars and what you know, Walmart? Nah, nah. It was uh, it was just little. I was at a uh, Planet Fitness, and um, what and it was. Yeah, they yeah, it was it was just it it was in Indiana and it was a Planet Fitness in like this little strip mall. So I just bobtailed over there because I you know, I dropped my trailer over at that um over at that Loves over in Gary. So I bobtailed over there. It was Sunday, bobtailed, got my workout on, came back, you know, I got a phone call while I was getting my workout on, and all of a sudden, you know, uh what's her name said, yo, Somebody put a boot on the truck. I was like, mm. what? So I go outside. There's dude in his little car or whatever. And I'm looking at him like, bro, man, you, I, I think you probably seen me. You, you, you could have at least told me that there was no semi truck parking in this motherfucking place. And he showed, he, he pointed, money. he pointed over to this, like you said, this small ass sign. That says no tr- uh no trucks. And yeah. So I had to hit them off with a calm data check and they they took two hundred and fifty out the one week and then they took another two hundred and fifty out the the following week. Man, Pinky five hundred dollars. All together. All right, so now you uh now you're at Epps and and every every video from Epps, you're happy. Like literally like <laughs> like life is like it's like it, it's I like it's here. like the sun is shining over there at Epps man <laughs> how, how 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 is how's how's the um how's the experience over there treating you because it look like you on a dollar account I mean, I, as you see like you said I am happy but just like I said every company had its ups and downs mm-hmm. and I, I love it I'm sorry what I love I love it because this fashion is you know, management, they're really cool. Ain't no more slip seat and you got your assigned truck. Mm-hmm. And I'm making the same money that I was pretty much making over the road as a lease operator. So that, of course, that's a damn win-win. But the major things that pisses me off is the fact of how warehouse sold them trailers. Today, the bad enough is a touch freight job. Mm-hmm. And then y'all making it even harder because y'all barely wrapping the pallets. Y'all just throwing shit in there, and then you know we had to be stuck to even rewrap it or pick that crap up when it falls. Mm-hmm. And then like we have to work with management to get the stuff in the stores. And part of the job is we supposed to just get the stuff off the trailer, hand it just to the door, and they supposed to take that shit and put it up. But they don't want to do it. They they try to have it to where you either set they room up and all that stuff. So I almost got in a fight with one manager, but she didn't want to. And half these managers don't want to do their job. So between the man just not wanting to do their job and her warehouse, that was the only issue that I don't like about the job. But everything else, I'm cool with. Now, being that this is now being that this is tr- uh, touch freight, uh, family dollar. I had a I had an interviewee uh, that did the family dollar account over at uh, US Express. Now he's a male, you know, and I I, I can understand him getting out doing the damn thing, but you you are female. <laughs> You getting out? You get, right? Nah, you I'm getting out? You, you getting out? Getting getting busy and getting dirty. Tell us, t- <laughs> yeah, tell us, dirty. tell us your experience with 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 touch freight, uh, family dollar. Other than you know, other than what you just mentioned about what you didn't like about it, but what's up when you first well, open up? I when you first open that door? To when you actually set up the, the, the little roll thingy. All I can say is if I could work at Frito Lay, this shit at, at Family Dollar is a walking park. <laughs> at Frito Lay, all you got is a hand truck and there's nothing on no pallet. So you scoop in every sack of every row in Frito Lay and you got to jump. Like it's a, uh, what is it, a low boy? So low mm-hmm. boy, when you get to the end of the trailer, that put a lot of wear and tear on your knees and, and your elbows. So that's one reason I'm glad I'm not there. But here, yeah, after the straight frame, and you get a power jack. And if warehouse do it right, it's on pallets wrapped. So if the warehouse do it right, it's really very easy. It just gets hard when they don't, like, wrap it right. And if you come off the, the lift gate wrong, 
borders and dog food, all that. Now, that's where the tough part comes in at. Mm-hmm. And in some areas, it's just not that good. So you bound to drop some stuff, especially heavy, heavy stuff anyway, because it's an incline or decline. So you just got to get strong on it. See, one time, my lift gate gave out the way I had to roll it a whole damn trailer. I had to roll it all that crap off. I'm just slinging it. Here, yeah, take this swing. Well, you better keep up with me. <laughs> I want all that shit. How how many Dog food, waters, and everything? How how many stores you do in a day? It varies. The least you get is two stores. The most you might get is six stores. Damn, six stores in a fifty-three foot. Yep. Okay. Okay. And really, another tough part about it is. Like, you have to have backing skills because these stores are, are, like, you'd be surprised that they would even put a condo 53 foot in, but you got to make it happen. I, so I can imagine. I was just about to, I was just in. about to ask you what was, what, what is like getting up in some of these, these residential uh, family dollars and these little, these little ghetto uh, strip mall family dollars was, how how often do you have to blindside there? You blindside almost every day. Out of one of them stores, one of them stores gonna be a blindside, and you get so used to it, you don't even think about it. You just that's the thing. Like repetitiveness, it seems hard for people that ain't used to it. But once you get used to something, it comes second hand, where you don't even think you just be what you're used to doing. That's what's up, man. Like I'm used to blindside now. Every now and then it'd be a tough store to where I still got to get out because this shit, like the one I had the other day, like you had to really curve around mm-hmm. into this. Like you really, you had to get the fuck out. And and even at that, like this job can be so tiresome sometimes. Sometimes you could be tired and don't know you're tired, so you still might mess around and hit something. Mm-hmm. Like you might hit the dumpster or or the gate, or you or you might kind of hit. Like size quite the building a little bit, mm-hmm. so that's bound to happen with that job. I don't care how experienced you are. Okay, that's what's up. Are you in a are, are, are you in, like are you in a sleeper? You you are in a sleeper or? Yes. Oh damn, yes, that's condo. even worse. Uh, yes. That's that's yeah, even. I'm used to it though. I'll be going. To that's I'll even going. worse. Shit. All right. You what a, take your time. That's all. What's the what's the hardest thing? Time. What's the hardest thing you think women face in the industry? The, the sexual harassment, the sexual harassment, safety, if you got kids, you know, if you're a good mother, just being away from your kids or your husband, those are the main things, yeah. Safety, okay. sexual harassment, and family time. Now, you, you, you talk. Oh, and uh, cleanliness, cleanliness. Oh, okay, this, yeah, this, yeah, it, it, it's cleaning, cleanliness, cleanliness. Now it's like everybody didn't know about that shit before now. So now it's <laughs> now is it's like it's like something new to them. I seen the video. That's I I can't man. I can't even find I, I can't I can't even find that video. That video was so fucking hilarious. You got to tell me the name of it. The one that you was in the bathroom washing your hands and you was telling everybody that y'all over here making this washing hands thing new. I've been washing my hands <laughs> since. Oh, that's on my Instagram. Oh, okay. That's on my Instagram. Oh, okay. you know what? No, that's a clip. Like a lot of stuff I post on Instagram is a clip from a video I made because I still had some of the clips. Like, you know how you clip your stuff to go and make a whole video. So I think that one was when I was working at Saddle Creek when I was with a uh, transport. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's I what came, I'm saying. Like, I, came, my damn I, hands. I came across that video and it's like, it's, it's like, I was I was laughing my ass off when I seen that. So how 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 are you how how you and your kids is faring doing this doing these trying times right now? Uh, I'm not like I know I'm trying to keep everybody calm and everything, but I'd be lying to you if I tell you that I'm not scared. And um, my kids they they I'm not I don't know if they terribly scared, but. It's affecting everybody. I mean, because this, this is, we never, as a nation, we never been through none of this. Like, this is really extreme. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of concerned. I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. How, how I'm is concerned it? concerned mainly for my kids. How, how has it, uh, how has it affect, how has it affect you, uh, trucking wise? Man, shit, 
that that stuff is not stopping. Like I just posted a video just now about um the <laughs> is slowing trucking, and it, it's not affecting us because we haul domestic goods such as household items, of course, toilet paper, lights on. So we got work out the yin yang. Like we got that letter that allowed us to travel, you know, in order to go to work. So we're not affected by the curfew times and everything mm-hmm. or quarantine. Mm-hmm. So you so you Not home affected. so you home every day every weekend or uh, is it every weekend or every day, every day and the weekend? It depends on me. I'm home every day because I get that shit off. Like I I be getting that shit off so fast. A lot of the man's like, well, I like you. Some of these drives just take them about four hours to unload that trend knob. Well, I say the most it take me is two hours at the most. Two hours for a stop, an hour and twenty minutes usually for a stop. So I'm getting my black ass home. I got to go home. I ain't are trying you, to be out here. Are you able to are you able to take the truck home or no? Yeah, you can. Oh, yep. you can't. Oh, you okay. got the space for it in this space, you sure can. Yep. All right. So you so are you are are you up in Baltimore right now or you're down south? I'm down south. I've been oh. I've been back in North Carolina. Oh, okay, years. okay, okay. Because I'm as I'm talking to you, you know, I'm thinking, you know, you doing the, you know, you doing Epps, and I could have sworn Epps is like a down south company, but I'm over, here, I'm over here thinking like you up in Baltimore driving for Epps and going to all, I mean, going to Family Dollars and all like that. So yeah, so oh, that's okay. worse. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing that. Man, I done got so used to driving stuff, I probably wouldn't know what it's like to drive up north anymore. I can, I, I, mean, I, mean, I, I can tell you what it's like driving up here. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know no more. It's not a fan. Okay. Not okay. not a fan. Okay. I, I can tell you. I can tell you. <laughs> not not, not a, a fan. fan. <laughs> no, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Mm-mm. No, no, no. All right. So with, with this outbreak that's going on right now, um, you you made you you made this one video that looks like look like you just you know you purchased yourself a a little tool right here is that uh is that tool right there that is that yours that you that you have on your that, that you have on your truck now or that's something for you know you got for your home protection you oh <laughs> uh I can't answer that one. Oh, okay, I feel you. No problem. You no, no, what, you, no. Do, you do what you do. What you gotta do with all Not a, things. not a even problem with I, that even one. Even if I don't have that, I got something. Like I said, I don't care if it's laid, whatever. I got what I got to have what I need, so I can be all right to make it home. You playing these games? I got you, man. I, I got you. Like I said, I ain't these, gonna do it. these trying times got people shook, man. So. But definitely, uh, definitely yeah, watch yourself. I can't lie to you. Definitely watch yourself out here. I'm kind of concerned. Yeah, definitely watch yourself out here. Make sure you continue washing your hands and all like that. Pinky man, it's been a blast. I had a good time. It has, it I has. had a good time talking Ooh, with you today. I'm right. glad that I'm glad yeah. that we was able to. I was glad that we was able to link up. And talk about uh you yeah. know talk about a lot of different topics, man. Every you know your experience with uh Prime and USA, and now with Epps, and you know a little bit of a uh, little bit of your lifestyle. How is the how's the relationship between uh you and your sister now? I mean, back then. Oh, I don't talk to them hoes. Ooh. Part of them bitches. They, hey, I don't fuck with them. I don't. They they don't they don't. I still don't get no love from them. So I don't. It's all good. I ain't worrying about it. It is me and my kids. That's all I need. All right. And one last need, one last question before we get up out of here, man. You 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 you're a mother of five. You know, you're a mother of five. Yeah. You're a good you're a good mother of five. You know, throughout some of the Aww, videos. Thank you, Lot Thru- Out, man. You're welcome. What you're welcome. Mean? Because throughout some of the videos that y'all did, y'all did uh, y'all did videos when y'all went to the park. And it just shows that you, Aww, it, it, it you just really shows. Yeah. Me. Yeah. I told you I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. Aww. Um, Aww. when, how do you, okay. How, how can I say this? How do you, now you get a, now you're a popular YouTuber. You're beautiful. You, uh, Thank you. you, um, 
you 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 obviously sassy. You in shape. How do you handle how how do you handle all these guys from 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 YouTube? You know, from like the viewers of I'm YouTube. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to sound how, um no go ahead or arrogant. Mm -hmm. But I kind of had I kind of had that issue even before YouTube. So. Mm -hmm. Back. Yeah, sorry about no that I had a phone call that came through. But go go ahead. I was saying I'm I'm used to it, so I know how to handle myself because guys try to always make it seem like all women are hoes dot and this and that. So mm -hmm. I just prove them wrong. Like, you know, I ain't I'm not that type of person, so I ignore people. I ain't gotta cut you out. I ain't gotta do all this and that. I can just not entertain that. And especially if I got somebody like currently I am in a committed relationship. Mm -hmm. So if I am in a committed relationship, that further makes me just say, okay, you can say what you want, but I'm just going to ignore it. Like, I don't even see it. So, how, okay, so, so how I it. okay, Pinky, let me ask you this then. Let me ask you this right quick. All right. What, what's some advice you can give to some of these gentlemen out here that's trying to shoot their shots at these trucker ladies? Be a gentleman. The same. My, I feel like if you do have respect for your mother, the same respect you would give your mother, give it to that woman that you really see as a potential mate. Don't sit here and be the first thing you comment on is how beautiful she looks or how about her looks. That makes it seem like you really just in it trying to smash. Like have something in common. Like if she drives truck, talk about the trucking industry. Become her friend first because with friendship. After friendship, then other things come because now she's comfortable enough to take an extra step past friendship. Not just, well, some women probably would just want to smash, but I ain't like that. If you can't get into my mind, get to know me as a friend first, then I ain't, I ain't starting you because I know where you hear that. So I, the same way you probably wouldn't have respect for me, now I don't lost total respect for you because I see what you're about. Okay, that's what's up. That is what's up. Because... Hey, yeah, the like, same way I, women I, is looked at as hoes and stuff. A lot of these dudes, like, like I've been raised by my dad, so I kind of got a man's mentality. So if a man carrying himself sleazy and shit, I look at you as a fucking hoe too. So I ain't gonna have no respect for you. Yeah, if I yeah, fuck you, you then I might fuck you, and after I get some, get the fuck out my face. You, I ain't for that. you, yeah, you, you came. You came hard, and you you came hard in 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 the previous video. This video right here is like way back, and I'm trying to find it. But you came hard at a at, at a video uh, at a dude, and the comments lit you up for it. You you was uh you was talking about you was talking about how thirsty dudes was. <laughs> that right there annoying annoying from the time I came in here up until y'all just heard me now I parked my truck and went in there you know to turn my paperwork in and here come this random driver making you know coming to me I don't know if he's trying to just make up a conversation that's a conversation starter for whatever reason, I have no idea, but I have an idea, but you know, I don't assume. You know, it's annoying. Leave me the fuck alone, motherfucker. You see me walking away from you as you talking. So if I'm walking away as you talking, that's a sign that I'm not interested. So and how and thirsty dude. Yeah, you was talking about how thirsty dude. No. I was being nice. I like I didn't cut him out. Like I just I said how I felt once he walked away. But I I was real polite when he was approaching me at my truck. So I was real. I think I did good by not getting out right with the guy because he kept following. Me. Like leave me alone. Like okay, you're not my boss. If, if even if I was being the brand, that ain't for you to tell me nothing. Leave me alone. I got you. And in, in the comments. 
Yeah, like men. They they lit it. They 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 lit you up in the comments for that. They take up for each other. They some of these guys really feel like a woman any kind of way, and she don't need to object. Like a lot of these guys feel like that. Mm -hmm. They really don't have a lot of these guys. Really do not have, especially for a black woman at that. So yeah, man. So like yeah, women, we be catching it. We be getting disrespected to the utmost out here. I, you know what? I, 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 I know, and it's and it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So much respect to the black woman. Definitely much respect to the black woman, especially the black woman that that decides to get out here in trucking, especially out here in trucking in the man's field of trucking, and it, it's you know experience all sorts of things from being harassed to racism and all that other stuff that that comes along with it pinky you had one last issue I, i'm going to take you back to you woke up you either woke up or you came back and you and you found you found some profanity on your truck what, what was the deal <laughs> with that Hey man, I woke up. I actually woke up out my bunk about to start my day, and obviously it's one of those days where I got into the truck stop to where parking was taken up. So just like all a couple truckers that I parked with, but I think it was it wasn't like directly beside the pump, mm -hmm. but it was kind of close around the pump. But I wasn't blocking nobody, so I woke up about to start my day to move my truck, and I get out, and no matter fact, somebody knocked on my door like, "Hey man, somebody wrote." I said, "Shit, really? Let me see this." So I get out and it's, it's stupid fuck. I say, oh, that's that's, and they did it with a permanent marker. Mm. Shoot, and and it was on a white, it, and, and it was on a white off. truck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people were stealing. Like I had them little uh, spike things you put on your rim on the lug nut. Mm -hmm. They would steal them off my truck. They stole my magnets, writing on the truck. I think somebody stole my fuel one time. Wow. Yeah, well, you stuff going on while you sleep in your bunk. You lady trucker, man, you 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 went through it, but you came through the fire though. You came through the fire to become yeah, one of the become one of the most popular YouTubers at about thirty six at about thirty six subscribers yeah, that you that and still growing. You right, still growing. I'm you about know, to be a thirty seven, another five hundred subs. You go, girl. You go, girl. That <laughs> that that, that silver. That's to be honest, uh huh. I you know I dealt with I I no I I, I kind of put my feelings out there. I dealt with like wow. I kind of dealt with like why these people like me like that. Like why people want to hear what I got to say. Like I ain't nobody. Like what what is so you, special about little old me to where people want to see what I got to talk about or they I guess a fan or they kid. I don't know. Like I'm you, not. I'm kind of not used to getting people that care so i struggle a lot with accepting when people do care it's kind of hard to accept because i'm not used to it i got you you get you know you you got pinky man you 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 got a good channel you got some good advice you 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 flip the script you're not you're 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 not just a trucking channel you're you no, are you're you are everything channel. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you make content for everybody, not just for the truckers out here, but for everybody. You, you, your platform is the fact that you're on a truck, but your content is more than that. And try to keep somebody. You know, you know what's weird too? Mm -hmm. Like they say for, as a, for YouTube algorithm and this and that, you usually supposed to pick one niche to be successful. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, 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 really surprised that I still maintain the numbers I got, even though it's all over the place. Because usually, like YouTube is all over the place with topics they don't. Yeah, make they it. they don't so make. So that it. alone kind of makes me surprised that is that is going the way it's going too. Yeah, they they don't make I'm it. You know, a lot of a lot and plus youtube just messes with a lot of people man like yesterday i was just in guilty's live feed don't you know youtube shut him down like three times three times what? i was Why? I, well the first time he got shut down because he did his trick of the week and they they shut him down for that then i think 
uh, I think something else happened as far as the the conversation the conversation was going. They shut him down for that, and then I forgot what the last time was because I didn't go back in the last time. But yeah, he got shut down like two or three times yesterday. It, it was either yesterday. It was it was either yeah. Yeah, it was either yesterday or a day before yesterday that uh that YouTube fucked with him. But that's what well, YouTube. Why are, they, well, why are they shutting him down now when he's been doing that shit? You, you, you know how he YouTube. Been doing that. You it's know YouTube. Been... Like I said, man, you, YouTube is also bullshit. They they been at me for a couple of times. So you know, really? yeah, they they been at me for a couple of times. I had my um, I had my channel my channel shut down for uh about a month. Mm. Yeah, I had my channel yeah. shut down because what? I, I did uh back then. You know, I was before before I started doing my podcast and just mainly just do that. I used to do reaction videos, and I would go on okay. YouTube That's and I was right. right. I would go on YouTube and see some see some stupid shit and all like that. That's already on YouTube, but yet when I come in and put my little my little commentary on it along with some sound effects somebody somebody is up in a bunch like that did i don't know if you hip but remember that disney fight about a year ago where the where the dude was you know hitting on his girlfriend he was girl. yeah. Is, yeah yeah i put um i put mortal kombat sounds to that <laughs> and it was <laughs> It that was funny. right, and it was one of my it was one of my most popular videos. But then <laughs> I get I I get hit with a with a um with a community uh a community not a copyright strike a community strike because somebody flagged the video, and I'm over here like so I wow. go so I go and make my uh I make my you know make my uh dispute on it, and I'm like yo this video is all over YouTube. Like, why are you fucking with me while this same video is on CNN, is on every other little bit of you, little, little, little bit of YouTubes that's out there? Y'all going to mess with me because I put more, I put, uh, I put fight sounds on that. The fuck? So. So were you able to fight it? Nah, they, nah, mm -mm, I still got the strike and. They didn't. You know they what? they That's didn't. Why I don't mess with it. They didn't remove. They didn't remove the video. They they just not showing the video. It's still in my um. It's still in my queue, but they just not showing the video. So, but it's a whole bunch of shit that people put on YouTube, and YouTube don't fuck with them. But when somebody talk about it, or somebody you know remaster it or something like that. Somebody else that watches the shit get offended, get offended by it. Like for example, I'm surprised I haven't got flagged. Like for example, I got, I got, got a, I got a, um, I got a, uh, my first copyright strike. Like literally, really? my, How you my, did that? I got it from, like, I got it from the news outlet, Transportation Nation, and I've been the support. So copyright. I, you know how transport you you familiar with transportation nation right no not no all right so transportation nation they they do this they they take a photo and they dial it up like they'll put their like like i can't pronounce the name but what was the name of the um the trucking company, the bit trucking company that got shut down or that shut down, uh, um, Cel uh Celadon, uh, Celadon. Celadon. All right. Yeah. So I used, I, 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 I talked about that video and I, I think I had it in a thumbnail that, um, I had lockout being podcast on top of the, on top of the, uh, on top of the, on top of the thumbnail where they used the C from Celia down to spell clothes. And then T uh Transportation Nation put their little stamp up in the corner, like this is ours. Yeah. So I ain't have a problem with that. They sent me, like I told the lady, I get so many emails that I missed the I missed this one. So when I when I yeah. finally caught it, 
that's when YouTube took it down and they was like, well, just call Transportation Nation up and see if they'll release it. I was in con I was in contact with the lady, but next thing I know, the contact broke. And I don't know what happened. And I kept emailing her, emailing her, emailing her until I got to the point like I went back to YouTube and disputed through YouTube, but YouTube won't take it down because of the because of the hold that they got. And I was like, I sent her another email back. I was like, you know what? I used to support y'all, but you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about transportation nation coming out of my mouth or any fucking uh uh articles that y'all may have, period. Mm. So Wow. But yeah, that's that's that was So they they do some sightsee. They yeah. been doing some sightsee. They did some sightsee stuff. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm. Pretty much. Well, all right. Are you you going Yeah. Yeah, we we gonna get up again, though. Yeah, yeah, we we, we for, definitely uh, gonna get back to get. Yeah, yeah, we definitely gonna get back yeah. together, man. This has been a hell of a conversation. I really do appreciate yeah, it. Yep. And if you guys, no problem, man. if you guys want to come on the podcast, you know what to do. All you got to do is say <laughs> lockoutmanpodcast at gmail dot com. Leave me your information, and we'll do something. Or you can turn around and get at me in the DM over at the Instagram, or. You could just text me up at 216-600-2090. That's how you're going to get at us. I am your humble host, Lockout Man, and this is Pinky, keeping it 100 experiences. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I really do appreciate you being here. And, um, and for that note, Pinky, you have a blessed one. May God bless you, you too, and everything you that you too. do. Please be safe and I clean will. and all that good stuff. I will. Here. I will. And on that note, so everybody. We'll next time. Yes. And until next time, we are gone. Thank you, Pinky. All right, deuces. All right, lockout, man. Talk to you soon.